Hello, I'm Donald Leggett and welcome to Share Views, brought to you by London South East. Our guest today is Keith Bush, Chief Executive Officer of Cabot Energy, who's here today to give us the latest on the drilling programme in Canada. Uh, hello Keith, last time we met you just done a major cattle raise and you were telling us about a, a, a major shareholder uh, called iPulse. Today it's back to genera generating free cash, cash flow from your assets. Mm -hmm. um, so tell me how the winter drilling programme in Alberta has gone. I think, as you say, it's from our, our major shareholder that's come in and we, we've, we've started to use the funds straight away because we need to get after that free cash flow generation. And we've, we've, so far, we've, we've completed, completed the drilling of three wells. We're currently drilling the fourth, fourth well of the sidetrack campaign. The, the results of the three wells have been, been very good, if better than expected, I, I would say. I think that Better we, than expected is always good, Keith. Yep. I'd say, you know, we're... we're you know we're, we're very we're very pleased with the results, but we don't want to go overboard with them. We want to make sure that we get decent production out of the wells for the first few months to confirm what we believe about about the reefs that we've drilled into. But from a from a technical perspective, it's been an excellent performance by the team. Now, strategically, you're using 3D seismic and your sidetrack uh, philosophy. Uh, to what extent do you, do you see these results as a vindication of that strategy? I mean, I think it's an absolute vindication and. We've put out the, the test results of three of the wells, and, and two of the wells have been excellent, and one of the wells is not, not quite as good, but still good. And I think it's, it's, it's that well that really proves that the concept, because we, we, when we sort of looked at the seismic, we did our interpretation, we believed that the, whilst the porosity in that well was not as good, it would still support decent production, and, and that's been proved. And with the other wells, we, we saw very good porosity in those wells from the, from the, from the seismic interpretation that we did pre-drilling. And the results were, were confirmed throughout the drilling programme with, with good oil shows, good gas shows. And then when we put the wells on test, they produced a, a, a fair bit higher than we would have expected them to initially. So out of four wells, you've actually been able to predict uh, what was going to happen. And lo and behold, it has actually happened. Uh, yeah, that, that's right. And it's, been, it's a, a real compliment to the, the subsurface team that they've managed to achieve this because it's, it's very unforgiving, the, the oil and gas industry. And no matter how good your, your data is, uh, there's, there's usually something that nature can throw at you that, that will give you a, a result that's a surprise. The fact that we've, ha we've, we've had these, these first three that have been, been excellent so far and the fourth one we're drilling at the moment shows, shows no sign of changing from that is, is a testament to their ability. And when do we start uh, delivering on the, on the oil production? What number of barrels a day can we expect? And what does that mean in terms of cash generation? Well, cash, so, cash so, flow. So, so, so the first well that we did uh, in, in January, that's already tied in, already producing. That's producing about 160 barrels a day at the moment. There's uh, very little water being produced from it. So uh, excellent result. It's been, it's been on for about three weeks now. We'd expect to get those, those next two wells on this month. Um, we need to go through the, the completion process and then and then put the pumps in place on them. And then the fourth one, we, we expect to finish the drilling over the next week or so, and then we'll test that, complete it, and, and put that on production later on in March to, or, or April time. So then they start generating the free cash flow. And, and the, because we've got a facility that's producing out there and these wells are tied straight back into that facility, the actual additional running cost is very, very low. So that as, as soon as they start producing oil into that facility, they're, they're really starting to pay for themselves very quickly. And we expect that, you know, we've, we forecast using a, a $50 WTI, which is what we, what we mark to, that they pay back in seven to eight months. And I think that we're, you know, we're, we're seeing greater values of that in, in the WTI price at the moment. So it's all really positive upside at the moment. And how would you see the next one to perhaps three years going in terms of, in terms of uh, strategy, in terms of cash generation, in terms of, of you know, Virgo and Rainbow? I think we get, we're getting much more confident about our interpretation of the 3D seismic now, and, and, and that's it's quite a technical thing to do. So now we need, to, we need to purchase some more of the seismic. The whole area that we have is covered in, in 3D seismic. We don't own all of it, but we can, we, can, we can purchase it from seismic brokers at a, a relatively low price. And from that, we'll do more interpretation over, the, over our existing lands and we'll look to drill, or we'll look to work up a lot of different well opportunities. You know, we're, we, we've got another six planned for, for this year, but we're talking maybe a multiple of 10 on, on that for the, for, the, for, for the 19 and 20. And I think that's, that's really key to, to our, our programme and our growth in production over the, over the next few years. And we want to get to the, you know, we've said 16 to 2,000, 2000 barrels 
by the end of this year. But we want to go further than that. We want 5,000 barrels a day plus over the, the, the two years following. And, and with the results that we've seen so far, I think that, that, that's very achievable. So 5,000 plus in two years' time and, uh, and beyond. Yeah, yeah and, and I think so. And it's, it's you know, that... that throws a lot of free cash flow that we can we can do other things with and you know it's about generating growth in the company share price so that we can give some value back to the shareholders how much of the money actually goes back into into a uh, well production and uh, operations how much much of it goes to ipulse and your other shareholders well so so we have a we, we work to a, a net back at 50 dollar all of about about 25 dollars us dollars um, so anything above that the, the net back is increased that then goes back into the company and, and initially we'll use it to fund our drilling campaign over the next the next coming years but then then beyond that i think we could we can look at what what we do that whether we use to use it to grow the production base elsewhere where we are in canada or whether we look to 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 get to be a, a grown-up company where we can where we can look to pay some sort of dividend you know that's that's the type of uh, of company that we would like to get to. That's the, the scenario years. you're looking at. That's right. Great. Okay, you now own 100% uh, your own assets in Canada. What kind of difference has this made on the ground? I think it's just, it's just meant that we can get after the operations pretty much straight away. And we, we really gave ourselves till the end of March to get these wells drilled and we're going to finish ahead of, ahead of time. And that's been because we've had the ability to just get straight after it. It's also meant that, the, that all of the production that we're getting in is, is going to our, to our revenue base, so that's very key as well. And you were talking about generally de-risking uh, uh, Cabot and Canada. Is this an, an, further evidence of de-risking, uh, what do you think? Absolutely, yeah. And again, I come back to the, the job that the technical team have done. The fact that, that, that we can image these higher porosity areas within the reef is not something that we're aware of that other companies have done in the past. And, we don't feel that the, the 3D seismic has been used to its full extent, partly because of the timing that it was acquired. It was acquired in the late 90s where the oil price was at its previous downturn and, and people lost interest in the area. So we, we see a big opportunity for this in the future. Uh, finally, my last question, what should you say to older investors who still confuse you with the old Northern Petroleum? I think, you know, we've, we, the, I think the last thing we did in the change of the company was change the name. And that was one of the key things to, to, to try and get out to the investment community that we are a different company. We're very much focused on, on production. We really want to grow that production and grow the value of the company because we need to return some value to the shareholders. But you have a strategy, you're delivering a, on a timeline to that strategy, so what's not to love, Keith? Absolutely, absolutely. All right, thank you for joining us today and thank you for watching as always.